Vice Chancellor, Professor E. V. Singha, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Chaminda Ratnayaka, Head of Academic Development and Quality Assurance, Professor Bharata Dudang Kutuva, Deans, Professors, Academics and Non-Academic Staff, very importantly, parents and new graduates. Dear graduates, my presentation or the speech is mainly focused on you. Congratulations on reaching this significant milestone as proud graduates of NSBM Green University. A day for celebration, recognition, reflection, thanksgiving and forward thinking. Remember, all those terms are relevant. I am filled with profound sense of delight and dignity to deliver this convocation speech at this higher seat of learning in my NSBM Green University. Now, you are entering the society as fully fledged individuals, which is a significant change in your lives, both personal and your career life. My attempt is to share my thoughts on how to thrive in a rapidly changing environment. Now, you are going to the society, that is a big change in your life. At the same time, you are going to enter into a place where there is rapid growth and change. If there is single, if there is single most important challenge in management, it is to achieve change constructively. Let's have an analytical look at the environment. Now, change is imminent. So therefore, you can't stop change taking place. So that is a rule. But don't allow rule or the change to rule you, your activities. That is the meaning behind the previous statement I made. During the 21st century, we are in a state of flux, uncertainty and change. We witness vast improvements in modern technology, medicine, extremely high productivity, the supercomputers and the internet, the rapid growth of some economies. But alongside these, the persistence of acute problems such as poverty, religious conflict, political dictatorship, corruption, environmental degradation, the danger of terrorism, and weapons of mass destruction. Now we hear every day about two wars which are going on at the moment. Marketing guru Philip Kotler says, I quote, change is occurring at an accelerating rate Today is not like yesterday, and tomorrow will be a different will be different from today. Continuing today's strategy is risky, so is turning to a new strategy. Now, dear graduates, this is the challenge you are going to face when you enter the world from today or tomorrow. Remember that, and also. The leaders who are leading these organizations will face this challenge to find the most appropriate strategy for their organizations or the new strategies. In this respect, we need to be more scientific. We need to have more insights into any situation to select right strategies. In fact, we have to go to the drawing board. However, there are three certainties, in my opinion, in this fast-changing world we, that must be heeded. Finally, uh, 
for, sorry firstly globalization will continue to affect lives in every respect there are so many good things in globalization we can share knowledge we can communicate with anybody anywhere in the world and we are in a global village we share a lot of good things but at the same time there may be some disadvantages too in that if you remember you you should remember the covid 19 pandemic we were facing a lot of problems because our businesses were global so we could we couldn't uh, help it without crossing the borders so there are so many such difficulties as well when globalization is set in and there is no stopping to that that will continue the secondly technology technology will continue to advance steadily biogenetic re revolution is gathering momentum the digital revolution is generating high-tech chips to make smart homes smart cars and even smart clothes you will be wearing those very soon even in Sri Lanka we also witness the dawn of an era of intelligent robots who will do much of our work for us in the future maybe more efficiently our younger generation may even visit or live in spaceships that is the technological side thirdly there is continuous pressure due to the previous two that I have already mentioned globalization and technology advancement for deregulation of every industry there can't be many more secrets hereafter the markets naturally work better under relatively free conditions providing appropriate answers to basic economic questions as we all know many socialist countries are privatizing state-owned companies to unleash the benefits of competition these developments spell endless opportunities providing that there is a brilliantly disguised opportunity behind every problem then challenge for you is how to identify or uncover these hidden opportunities and make optimum use of them in your career this is where the knowledge that you gain in your prestigious university and skills that you acquired will play a critical role in your path to success the knowledge and skills that you acquired are your toolkit for you to navigate in this rough seas at this point i wish to state that don't think the grades that you have academic grades that you have obtained or the universities uh, nature the prestigious nature will help you when you enter into the world of business or the world of reality that is you unless you develop emotional intelligence in yourself the success may not be forthcoming remember uh, in most of the leaders who have been successful in this world one important element is emotional intelligence that is you need to know yourself and you need to know your neighbor others the society so you can relate to the society well as well as you can self-control yourself if you can do that you will be very successful people I have in my 40 years of career noticed this and observed this so therefore please develop your emotional intelligence before you enter into your new stage there are so many simple ways to do that AI and machine language machine learning data analytics robotics soft skills management and management concepts in marketing all those will serve you in a very useful manner when you get into the business 
And also, I have about five important points for, for you to dis, uh, say, uh, keep in mind and practice. One is embrace lifelong learning. Your university degree is just the beginning to that. Unless you get into the habit of lifelong learning, you will not be relevant. The world is changing so fast. So therefore, please remember. Then the second, seize opportunities. Use AI and other relevant tools across various industries, from healthcare to finance, from manufacturing to entertainment. Third, foster a culture of innovation. Innovation thrives in env environments that encourage creativity and collaboration. Those are key words. Ethical considerations. With great power comes great responsibility. You may have heard this statement. As future leaders, it's essential to consider the ethical implications of the society. Number five, the last one. Embrace failure as stepping stone. Each failure brings valuable lessons that can propel you forward. Remember, the path to success is rarely a straight line. In conclusion, the knowledge you acquired and the innovative mindset you cultivate will be your guiding lights as you navigate the exciting and ever-evolving landscape of the professional world. Embrace change, be lifelong learners, and leverage the power of knowledge to make a positive impact in your respective field. I have practiced in my life a concept, not a concept, uh, that's in my own uh, words, three C's. One is conviction, confidence, and commitment. Now, I think if you practice these three concepts, you will never fail. And also, don't fear failure. That is the way of life. So therefore, and also, always question the status quo. If you look at the success of Apple computers, they are, what they have done was that. They questioned the status quo and the, they went against the computer giants during that time, IBM, and also they introduced different operating systems and softwares. That's one example only. There are so many other examples. Have the courage to be different if the situation demands. Don't go with the tide. Always be different, unique. You, each one of you is a different brand. You don't have to go very far to experience this. Look at your own NSBM Green University. It has carved out a specific segment in this country within a very short period of time due to the, the, uh, due to the, the long, uh, due to the leadership of Professor Virasinghe and their team and also yourselves. So therefore, please remember these are important points. And also, I must congratulate NSBM Green University for being elevated, for going to be elevated from next month. In fact, in today's President's speech, I heard that, although I was not here. And also, this is not the first time he mentioned that. So it's a confirmation. Of so therefore, you have to be very happy, and I must congratulate Professor Veera Singh and the entire staff and all the students here and their parents for that. And also, I must congratulate the new graduates and applaud the decision of the parents to send their children to this prestigious university. Thank you very much. All the best.